Welcome back to Armor Combat America. And this right here is a little bit of review. I'm gonna show you this, try it on. We'll be doing testing later on, see how it holds up. But this is shipment from HBC. Uh, this is all made in India. It's all mild steel. I wanted a training kit, so I didn't spend much on this compared to if I'd have got spring steel, hardened steel, titanium, etc. So, Spoleto helm with a collar. It was additional money for that. Uh, it's optional. Uh, that is the Mongolian arms, a uh, set of legs that actually articulate very nicely. See, it's got the design in here around this. I can't remember which kit this is because my memory only works so good, but I did get a leg kit that came with these. Uh, the special they were doing. So sabatons and boots. They did not include the shins with this uh, order. Tomorrow he's supposed to ship me the shins and a set of gauntlets. I got their mild steel uh, meat cleavers. And I think that's it. I think that should complete my orders. From them anyway. I've got stuff coming from other people as well. So give me a second. I'm going to use my brig that I got from uh, Andre and my shins that are also from him. That way I can put all this on and have a full kit and we'll see how it feels, see how it looks. All right, give me one second. Hi guys, welcome back to Armor Combat America. About to show you all some more of this kit and we're gonna put it on, see what it looks like, how it fits. All right, back outside, you can see it looks like things pretty decent for the most part. It does have a chin strap. There is no Simon strap on this yet. I'm going to have to put one on here because in the interest of safety and the like, that's a good thing. Uh, the padding in this is actually, feels pretty good. Like, feels like I'm gonna be able to get clocked, take some ass beating. How much three millimeter mild steel? And so far so good, except for some things. Let's see. Current issue I have is the threading is shit. It's just cheap threading, and it's already causing this to fall off here. So I'm going to probably use some wire. Run it through there. Hope I guess wire would hold up better with that. Uh, you know, so good looking helmet. Had a little touch of some rust here and there from shipping and not having anything on it, but uh, the fit's good, the padding feels good. Just need to get it more secure. Uh, set this down. All right. <sighs> okay, rest of the kit probably already touched on. Shoulders definitely have some mobility. You can see, like any other shoulder kit, you have some gappage because these aren't massive. Uh, these right here are digging into my wrist. They need to be set back just a little bit, or actually, my gambus needs to be longer. Uh, I'm gonna get some wrist wraps that hopefully help a little bit with that. But it's just very, very limited. Like they are just a touch too long for me, maybe, and I've got pretty long hands. Uh, just grinding in. If I can get that fixed with some wrist wrap, that'd be okay. But I can definitely tell this potentially could possibly get me hurt if I got tweaked right. You know, so that's a training kit is what I got this for. Underneath here, you can see, I'll take this strap off. All right, this upper kit, nothing's holding it on, okay? This sits underneath this, straps down, and they kind of work together. Now, I would like to take that and allow it to strap in with the strap that's built into this is a strap I can't reach it because, you know, reasons. Uh, so if I get that to strap into this, that would be great because it would help pull this up a little bit. And uh, But for this being rolled over the way it is, I don't know if I have somebody re-roll it and knock off like a half inch. That would be great. But otherwise, getting on to the gambeson, uh, it was fine. Like, the gambeson tucks in really well because these arms are pretty big. I mean, they, they look cool. I mean, they're scaled all the way down and then down here you can see the legs look great they're definitely articulating down so these are these Galveski's legs on my shins 
but that's their sabatons, okay? Uh, I've got the knees tucked into the, the legs, the shins, because they wouldn't fit on the outside because it's just different manufacturer stuff, different uh, weaponsmiths. So I wouldn't be comfortable fighting in this right now with these legs, just for training because I like it's just rough. Uh, but the soles of these boots are leather. They're very slippery feeling whenever I was on the carpet and the tile, but out here in the grass, it doesn't feel too bad. Uh, so I can't wait to get the shins. So these fit like that and integrate with the uh, sabatons. We got sabatons coming from Andre, which are gonna fit these legs beautifully, these shins, because they're made for it. And I've got a set of boots coming from Master Bogdan. And those are supposed to be fantastic. But otherwise, for a training kit, liner kit, whatever, uh, like I said, I need to shorten these. I might shorten these like a full inch just because most people don't even have arms as long as mine. So there's that. Uh, cannot extend my arm straight because the way this is, like I said, it looks cool, but you got your limitations in it. But like I said, for a training combat set, uh, got room for improvement, but it's doable. You do have to, uh, do need to add some holes. These up here weren't big enough for these larger tie straps, uh, these larger pieces of leather. So I clipped them out, no big deal. Inside my knees, I did also clip out those holes that were just not in line. But the leather seems like it's good. It's not, not trash leather for sure. It's all mild steel. Clean all this up, wipe it down to WU-40, make sure it stays in good shape. And I'll be able to beat it up, abuse it, see what happens. Uh, I won't do it with the legs until the shins get in so they're proper. But uh, otherwise, I mean, it's not bad. It's coming along. This would be for, uh, you know, like I said, literally practice training kit. Uh, material is just mild steel, but it's like 1.6 millimeter at minimal. How much three millimeters? So yeah, is it gonna dent? Yeah, I mean, over time it's gonna get beat up, but it's not like it's some 1.5 millimeter mild steel that's gonna cave in easy, so. We're gonna find out. Uh, we'll replace that uh, the string that's already breaking and uh, give it hell, train with it. I don't have a helmet right now except this one and I'm not scared to use this helmet for some of the stuff we got going on locally. Uh, uh, the vision on it, visibility on it's actually have decent. Feels okay breathing in it. Uh, it does not have the button that a lot of our helmets have. You get the button so you can lift the visor. So you do the button and the button and strap, you know, double. So it, does, it only has that. Not really a big deal if the uh, strap doesn't break, but uh, it does have the exterior mounts for it for an Aventel or whatever. If you don't want to use the, the plates, if you got your own Aventel you want to hook up to it with, with uh, all your padding and in your uh, neck protection, you know, that's what that's good for. But yeah, this did tie into my Andre uh, Brigadine really, really well. So, yeah, uh, now I'm all hot and sweaty been out here playing. I wanted to play around and, and hit the uh the pell with this but I, my articulation here sucks so bad I'm, I'm really really not comfortable with that so i'm gonna have to see if one of my guys can figure out how to cut this and then still roll it back or i might get gangster and just do it myself i'll just cut out the difference move it back re-weld it and grind it that would work for me because i can take it the slack of the difference and just you know, just roll it down so it would actually be faster because I can just do that. It doesn't have to be beautiful. Grind it back down, and that way I've still got this nice bevelished, rounded off edge, except it'll be down where I need it. If I go an inch further in, that'll make fighters with shorter arms that just need a loaner kit or to train, that'll help them out because these these arms and legs, they're really, they're just spares for me kind of. They're not stuff that I want to wear to fight. I've got nicer stuff from uh, Andre that's uh, all if it's not tool st spring steel it's a uh, you know hardened steel either way so it's just better designed for it and it fits me really well like he's on point with his designs so yeah i saved a little money on this and it's what its job was a uh, training kit so uh you know someone wants to be able to borrow some stuff that looks decent works decent good enough for training beating each other up having fun it's not bad i mean it definitely looks cool I mean, that's, that's why I got it. I was like, oh, that looks cool. Price is right. Mongol arms. And then, uh, I can't remember what the legs were. Hopefully, uh, if, in fact, 
these. You get a set of legs that don't work well with them because I don't even know if they matched with them or not from India, from HBC. I'll get some brig shins. You know, you're not supposed to wear brig lowers with a all steel shin upper for HMB or any of that, but we don't care. This is a training kit, so it doesn't make a shit. So there's always that. And uh, do we have a friend of mine that can make some shins and uh, not to worry about buying more from outside the lower 48 and having it shipped. So yeah, hope there's some more useful information for you. HBC, their uh, shipping date was 10 days, man. They like kicked everybody's ass on shipping with that. And that was like two notifications that were redirected. So that's pretty good stuff. And uh, great communication with those guys. They do have other options outside of this, but I kind of felt that for the price they wanted for the hardened steel or any of that, that was the same price as these guys that are selling tons of armor to all these guys that compete. And uh, you heard, so. Take that with what you will. Hope it's useful information. And as this gets beat up and abused, I'll see if I can do some updates and let you know what's failing and what's not. So you can have an idea what your application is for the armor. All right. Thanks for watching. <sighs> armor Combat America. See you next time.